artist since I was born. And I was always trying to paint what heaven would look like. I'd do these coloured arches and I'd wonder about that. And I've always kind of had that in the back of my mind because my art is really spiritually motivated. My grandmother just adored me and um, was so encouraging because I'd say, well, if I ever sell a painting, she'd say, my dear, it's when you sell a painting. My other grandmother started painting when she was something like 78 years old and she started painting because of me. I inspired her. When she was painting, she was just, she always used to call me up and talk about it and how do you paint a feather? And I just saw how she came alive and she said to me, before she died, don't ever give up your art. If someone just falls in love with a piece, then they want it. Um, you connect in some way. The snake would transform form bad, heavy energy, you know, into lighter spiritual energy. These infinity symbols, well, they're more like spiritual infinity symbols. So it's showing the promise of coming out of a dark period into the light. The colours are very grounding colours to connect you back to the earth. Even the way the snake comes down is like a, a cord to the centre of the earth. People like the story behind the art, what it's supposed to do, how the energy can affect them. Feng Shui means wind and water and I guess it's, it's kind of like wind and water are energies that clean out the space and what the fish do is they bring in good energy but they also absorb bad energy and the whole trick is to keep the eight red and the one black um, you know for good energy and the peonies those those are the guilty culprits it's supposed to get you a good relationship or it's supposed to improve your relationship and but i found out one day that it gets rid of the wrong person too <laughs> she called me up the next day and she said my boyfriend just broke up with me i'm like i'm so sorry <laughs> but it turns out he was a total he was not a good guy Once again, I thought this is hocus pocus, but every time someone gets the feng shui and puts it in the right place, I've made people pregnant, I've had people call me up, you need to go to the fertility clinic. I've kind of become a believer backwards in, in what I've done. I was feng shui by my own self. 